Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I purposefully made today pretty um, low impact on you guys because I know that the new shift is, um, it's gonna take some work to get adjusted to, especially in a class like seminar where before we transitioned to remote learning, a lot of it was you guys working independently and then me overseeing uh, what you were doing. And that is going to be what a lot of this looks like starting from tomorrow. Um, so today I am going to go over some really basic revision strategies that you guys can do. And um, I'm gonna kind of model how I'm going to be active in the process of your um, IA writing. I, I mean, IWA writing. I know that it feels like we've been doing this paper for a really long time and it's not going away anytime soon. So um, just know that this is a really important paper. Again, I'm gonna keep saying that over and over again. This is worth two thirds of your um, AP credit for um, passing the AP exam. Now, this is a really important paper for that. Um, so today I'm going to model kind of what we're going to be looking at. And so what we're gonna be doing is I'm going to be doing something like this where I launch like, okay, this is what we're gonna be working on our revisions. And this is what I'm expecting you guys to do. And then I'm going to stop sharing my screen and then I'm going to open up tabs with all of your guys' papers. And I'm going to watch you guys type for the next like, so right now would be like for the next 45 minutes, I'm just gonna watch you guys type. And then as we continue to go through the paper, um, like if I see that like Isis and Nyasia are making the same mistake or having the same difficulty, I will like come back into the chat and message Nyasia and Isis and say like, and put you guys in a breakout room so you guys can talk through questions. Or I'll start out the class um, saying, okay, so who is having difficulty with this part of the rubric? And then I'll put you guys in breakout rooms based off of that part of the rubric so you guys can talk to, uh, talk to each other through the different issues that, uh, that you're going to have. So that way we're still here for that mandatory 50 minutes, but it's going to be a lot of the same, it's going to feel a lot more like what we did before we transitioned to remote, remote learning. Any quick questions on how the class structure is going to work? Awesome. Okay, so today again, we're just doing a practice round so that way we can get readjusted to it. Tomorrow it's going to be a little bit more serious where I put you guys into the breakout rooms. Um, and then for the rest of the week, this is where we are going to kind of take a different, um, one second, sorry. Um, this is where we're gonna take a different take on the um, IWA and how we are going to go about um, fixing hours. Those of you guys that had a raw score above a 75 are going to have an opportunity to use class time to go ahead and um, get started on that extra credit presentation. I said at the beginning of the quarter, I was going to give you guys the opportunity to present on your topic in a way that would get you extra credit. If you got above a 75 on your, I, um, on your IWA, I'm going to let you guys use class time to get started on that because it's going to help you approach your essay differently. I see that I have a couple of chats in the thing. I'm gonna, when I'm done talking, I will look at this. Um, so we're gonna use class time to get that done. And then those of you guys that got less than a 75% on the IWA, we're, I'm going to have you guys do different um, revisions specifically targeted on what areas that you, uh, what areas you need to um, fix. One last thing, based off of the IA, you guys have like a raw score of what I graded. So for example, if you got an 80%, that means that I read your paper and I was like, okay, this is, this would get 80% of the credit. I cannot tell you where I took points off. All I can do is tell you what your grade would be. So you can look at the rubric and try to figure out which parts of the rubric you lost points on and you can ask your classmates where they would have taken off points as a way to understand. Um, unfortunately, it's because of the college board rules where I can't give you that specific rubric because that is direct feedback, but you having the grade gives you the opportunity to see a, the amount of effort that you need to put into your revisions. So let me look at the chat real quick. Okay, Jade, um, thanks for letting me know. Um, 
Okay, any questions on that next part about what this week is gonna look like and your IA? Okay, I have a question. When mm -hmm. you say that um, for the whole extra credit um, thing, you gotta have a 75 raw, right? Yes. Okay, you have a 75, at least a 75 raw. What was your curve about? Whatever the grade is in power school. Okay, I have a, I have a 95 curve. But I don't know what, what does that mean, raw. Okay, so um, in power school, that is the curved grade that you have uh -huh. um, for your actual report card. On Google Classroom, that is your uncurved score. Oh, okay. So that's why they, that's why what's on power school doesn't match up your classroom because I wanted to make sure you guys had your raw score as well. Right. Okay. And um, just to help clarify. If I'm giving you the opportunity Wednesday through Friday to work on your presentation, if you would rather just work on your paper and you think that you could use that time on your paper, that's also fine. I'm just giving you the class time if you want to get away from like the actual revising and writing process and approach it in a different way. That's why I'm giving you the in class time to do it. Yes, Isis. Do you have access to the um, the scores? Because I can't see mine. I don't know where to find mine's at. It's not popping up. It should be on Google Classroom on that assignment. The IA one? Yeah, the assignment that says IA slash like mandatory Zoom call. Oh, because where they usually. Assignment besides today. Uh, the one that, you know, the where it says like the points and it'd be like 100 and then you have that little slash and it tells you your thing. Mm -hmm. Mine's don't say that. It just says turned in. Okay. Um, I can't. Here, let me, I'm going to use my phone to look up your score and I'm going to privately chat it to you. Okay. Um, okay. Once I do that for ISIS, you guys, we're going to transition to today's work. Um, any other questions? Awesome. Okay. Okay. ISIS, I just sent you your raw score. Can I get my, my raw it's in, score? It's in Google Classroom, you guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But yes, your raw score for whatever, um, like based off of the rubric, that is what is in, that is what is listed for that assignment on Google Classroom. The power school grade is the one that's curved, so that way you guys got more points towards your final grade. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And this is um, what we're going to be looking at today. Okay. So I have, it's about 10 pages long, a packet that is um, full of really easy um, revision statements just to help you guys get started. Because I know that you guys have been revising based off of prompts for the last couple of weeks and it can feel really overwhelming when you've just been looking at the same thing over and over again. Make sure I have this. Nope. Let me try that out. Okay. Um, so this is a packet that is just going to help you guys um, submit your work, um, revise your work. So there are just some ideas of common transition um, evidence specifically what aspects you should have in each of your paragraphs. So for example, um, in your counter argument, just name who is against you. And that could be about paragraph six. Um, if you're worried about evidence, you can use paragraphs three through four to introduce um, paraphrases and summaries with quotes and explanations scrolling down and then this has like a very much a like a field map of how to revise so let's say you feel like you handled the perspective super well but you're really worried about your introduction you can go through this introduction and see how well you follow this formula and where you think you can make some improvements and it is like this for all of the different paragraphs so there's nothing that you actually need to do on this document this document is just there for you to have um, help specifically for um, certain issues. Let me stop the share. Okay. Any questions on what this document is and what it's for? Great. 
Okay, so like I said, today is just about getting back into the IWA and getting familiar with this new Zoom format. So I'm going to give you guys two minutes. Go ahead and open up your IWA document. And while you do that, I'm going to pull up your guys' as well. I'm on my, is anybody having a Siri or something? Um, I'm on mine, but I don't know why you can't see that I'm on it. I'm on the one that's in your drive folder. You said drive? Yeah. Okay. Are you on the essay that you turned in? Or are you on the one that's in your Google Drive? Yeah, I went, well, huh, I went to Google Docs, so I can check my job. Here, let me look, because the one that I'm looking at says that your last edit was 11 days ago. Yeah, I just want to clarify that what I'm doing is I'm going to your, um, I'm going through your student email and I'm going to your folder that says um, PT-2 with your last name on it and that's how I'm coming to your essay. Yeah, what is it? Oh, PT-2. Yeah, so your old, um, so the Google folder that we set up in class. Yeah, I was in this one. Do you see me now? No. Are you in the paper or are you in the exploratory essay? Oh, exploratory essay. Silly, silly. Awesome. Okay, so just like I said earlier, um, we are going to take the next 30, yeah, 30 minutes. And this is what we're doing for class today is we're just working on revisions and you're using the full, the um, document that I gave you guys. If you have any outstanding questions or concerns, raise your hand or chat me a question but I'm gonna be um, on your Google document and you can also chat me questions in the Google document. Like if you have a specific error uh, issue where you're like, Ms. Wild, I don't understand this, um, how to make this sentence better or I don't know how to fix this. I can look at the error and think of another one of your classmates that does that well. And then I can uh, point you to somebody to ask for their advice. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, assume that it's, uh, okay, so we're going to take the next 30 minutes. This is what you, so because the five of you guys are, yes, Jesus. Is my, my RWA shared with you, right? Um, hold on. I think I found it. I don't know. I'm looking for you. It's the same thing as Ariana, where I went to your Google folder that we set up in class and I found, there you are. Okay, I'm in. Okay. Yes, I see you. I see Mazaya. I see Naeja. Just waiting on Jade. Um, so yeah, just look for that document. Take the next 30 minutes, find places to revise. I'm going to be watching to make sure that you're revising. But as long as for the next 27 minutes, you guys are revising and putting in effort, you guys are getting a 100% on today's like classwork or homework. And uh, one step closer to um, being done with this paper. Tomorrow, we are going to be going over the, IW, the IA rubric that I used for this paper. And you guys are going to use that to try to help distill and find where you might have lost points. And we're going to do revisions based off of the rubric tomorrow. Awesome. So I'm going to go and stop recording.